At least you with the water supply is Gaiwa directly. Yes, of course, we have reached out to the representative from the Gaiwa office in Region 7. And all we keep hearing is that they are fixing the issue. They're trying to fix the issue. They're fixing the issue next month, next week. And it gets to the point whereby residents are getting real frustrated with the service of Gaiwa because at the end of the month, Gaiwa send their bills, send the bills to, to whoever is connected to them. We did raise this at the level of the RDC on numerous occasions. Every RDC sitting, we raise it. At the last RDC sitting, the representative there also made mention that they are working on it. But then the residents are fed up. They are, they are fed up in the situation. And, and, and this is a large swat of residents here in Bartica that are affected by this water situation. And, and is it no water, poor water supply, bad, bad quality of water, or all the above? Well, all the above, because, well, first of all, the township is being affected directly by Gaiwa. Then the most affected is the people in Four Mile, Five Mile area. They are the ones affected because the pump have to pump water to four, to four miles and then relay, well, whatever system they use to go up to Five Mile. And that is where the issue comes in. Well, the residents in Five Mile, they are more heavily hit because the, the fire service at times will have to go and take water up to the resident of Five Mile because, you know, the, the water supply and I, I, I just think this is just my, my opinion. I don't want nobody to get fire or anything, but there is an issue in central Georgetown and Georgetown is the one who, who keep getting these complaints and are not rectifying these complaints because we go to the office. We, it's not that we want to see what was happening at the guy who office here, but we know that it's, it's a Georgetown issue. Georgetown is supposed to ensure that when they are budgeting, that they allocate sufficient funds for Region 7 or, and the township. Because I can't see that our, our region is the second largest region in the country. But yet our budgetary allocation is the second to last for the entire country. Like we go with the second largest and then the second to last bu um, budget. Because there are other entities who are receiving much more funding than Region 7. And funding should come directly. More funding should come. So that the water issue should be would be addressed and should be addressed because years for the past four years we have received this issue over and over if it's not and then when the water do come the water is terrible when it come orange it's going like tail and water orange 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 and then not just that you got to pay a bill at the end of the month because guy will come sticking the bill in your fence every day so the residents are fed up from the level of the rdc i don't know what more we can do because it's getting frustrating. And you have made a representation to Gaiwa that this is a matter that needs urgent attention. Is this a recent vintage? And, and give us a sense of maybe the typical day in terms of water, water supply, or maybe the typical week here. How, how, how does water flow here? Well, water, well, the four miles area would normally get every other day. But for the past 10 days, for the past eight to 10 days, for my lady, I haven't been receiving water. At all? At all, to my knowledge, because residents are complaining. So, Councilor Daniels, this is the fastest growing economy in the world. Um, we were recently designated high income country, uh, largest GDP. And you tell me the areas that get water every, every other day? Every other day. Every other day, that is the four to five mile area. That is what, um, the, that is what the representative explained to me. Because after the issue start com uh, came in on rapid, people call in, people come in straight to your house and visit. Mr. Daniels, what is happening? I reach out to the representative and they would indicate that there is a, a breakage in the, in the main, somewhere along the road. There is a there is blackout issue. They're, they are cleaning the tanks because there is sludge when, because they had to clean the tank at times. But then I still I can't see eight to ten days, no water inside four to five miles. Mm -hmm. As much as I want to blame that particular individual, I know that is a central issue. Because at the level of the RDC, when you make the recommendation, I think that that good gentleman forward that same information to Georgetown. I don't think he just carried it home and hide it on the bed. He sent it to Sheikh Bash in Georgetown. I think Sheikh Bash is, I'll call his name. Because he's in charge for the country water supply. I will call his, his name. So I think Mr. Bosch got to do a better job. If he can't do a better job, I think the Honorable President should remove him. Because if we is the fastest growing economy, you got to put people in position who can manage the system. If not, not because, you know, you like that person. 
remove him, put somebody else. But how does how does a government expect people should live? It's not even every other day now. It's it's more than that, as you said. It's it's ten days now, and you know you don't have a consistent supply of water in an entire area. That's something else. Yes, of course, it's unacceptable because at every level of the RDC, the regional aspect of of who you could go to, whether you go to the regional chairman that I did engage him and told him that what is happening inside of four mile, five mile area, whether the level of the, 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 the mayor and, and town council, Mr. Murray, whether he's at the REO level, these issues are being ventilated there because the mayor was at the meeting, the REO was at the meeting. So this is what we explained to them. They said that the information would be forwarded to Georgetown as what the representative of Guy was said. So this is a central issue. It is not now a local issue. It is an issue that should place right at the, at, at the doorstep or the foot of Mr. Sheikh Bash. Because he is the person who's supposed to manage that, manage the whole operation of Guy Wood around this country. And if you can supply four to five mile area with the with the the water supply that is needed, we got a, we got the next housing scheme coming online. Well then that's an issue in the making. I think better should be done. More should, more, more should be done. I think more emphasis should be placed in the township of, of Bartika. And I think that Mr. Ali, President Ali, should look into Gaiwa management system, however that is. Whoever you got to send, I think that's the Honorable Minister Colin Cole. Go to Mr. Sheikh Bash. Shake up the office, little man. Or even shake up Mr. Sheikh Bash. Because better should be done. This area, four, five, four and five miles, is that captured under the municipality here? Yeah, so, yes, there's capture under the municipality. Municipality stretched, I think, straight up to the 14 mile area. And the municipality, yeah. if I'm not forgetting, is controlled by the PPP. It's controlled by the People's Progressive Party. Similar? Yes, yes, it's controlled by the, the ruling party. And I, I know for sure that these same issues is raised at the level of the town council also. Because they are sitting councillor on the town council, who, who sits at the RDC. And it's the same issue that is raised vice versa, because I, as I explained, the mayor is be at the RDC meeting. So the mayor hear the issues, because we just don't represent the, the region. Well, the, the town is part of the region, of course. And the mayor is be there. So the mayor knows that what is happening within the township. And yet for the longest while, no relief from central government through the um, the, the, the town council here, no relief through the region here, um, from Bartik on the whole, and in particular these folks from Five Miles. Well, there's a, the situation is terrible. Well, first I know that, again, I'm not blaming the fire, the fire service people because I was told that they were they receive instruction that you have to pay for the water because fuel consumption with the vehicle. I know after reaching out to Ms. Um, Director Finance, we made some clear, you know, some clarification to what is really happening that residents are supposed to pay for water in five mile area. I but are they in fact paying for water there? Well, after I know I engaged Mr. Finance and Mr. Finance reached out to Mr. Minister, Minister Ben, um, that situation stopped. So, well, so hold on, hold on. So you, you learned that the fire service delivering water to five miles was selling water to the community? Well, we that heard, was the allegation? We, we heard that the, the, they had to make a contribution towards the fuel. I don't know how that, that, that works out when you have a budget and you're supposed to, <laughs> I, you know, it's a crazy thing. All I know for sure now is that that part has been rectified after we, I engaged Ms. Finance and Mr. Finance reached out to uh, Minister Ben that what is going now, more regular, and the residents don't have to pay. So that is a plus in a sense, but then again, you know, there's only so much the fire, the, the fire truck could, could supply because the amount of house, when one fire truck goes, you have to go real steady. That's the issue we're having up here. Terrible water supply. The, the, color, the, the coloration of the water is terrible. And it's something that, from the regional standpoint, we have exhausted our option. The most we could do now is blame somebody. And I blame Mr. Sheikh Bash.